You're watching Hello Nigeria. You are watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. <laughs> and that is Ray and Modi featuring, what's his name again? Shaka, Shaka L. Yes. And that was Give Her the Ring. And I also asked him if he's giving anybody a ring, but I will in a moment. We have with us actor, singer, businessman, musician, and an all encompassing entity. We get to find out all the many things that he can do. His name is Ray M. Modi, and he'll be interviewed by Oliver Modi. And Esther is, Adeze Wanko is not going to ask any silly questions. I'm going to. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Hello, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. That song, Give Her the Ring. Have you ever given anybody a ring? Let's keep it real. It's give her a ring. We're keeping it as local as possible. Give her a no ring. No day. Okay, give her a ring. Give her a ring, like Shaba. Did you give her a ring? Have you given anybody a ring? Yeah, but it was in a movie. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. nice. Okay. <laughs> so tell us, who is Ray Amodi? Uh, Ray Amodi is a tall guy uh, from Onitsha. Uh, he likes, he loves music a lot. He loves movies a lot. Most of his passwords when he was growing up was music and movies, music and movies. You change it for Yahoo, it would be music. The M would be in the capital. Like, it literally was just music and movies, everything. So I feel like my whole life I've been building up to do what I'm starting to do now. I won't say building up to do what I'm doing now because I haven't gotten to where I need to get to. Mm. Yeah, okay. that, I don't know if I answered the question. Did no, I you did. At least we know that your life is all about movies and um, music. Yes. The funny thing is, when I saw you first, or when I heard of you first, I first of all heard of you from the movies aspect. Oh, yeah. I didn't really realize that there was a music side to I you. Know, so if you had to choose one, which would you choose? <laughs> uh, you see, the thing with that question is it's tricky because... If I say one, then the fans of the other one will get... But I don't have a lot of fans musically yet. I just have people going, oh, that's good. That's actually good. You know, actors don't really... They're not good in music. But that's actually very okay. Did you get me? They're still getting yes. over that. By the time I drop, like, other ones, I'm actually working on an album. Um, now I'm talking about music more, so maybe it's music. I don't know. Mm. But I'm working on an album. I think that when the album comes out, it's going to change a lot of uh, perception. Which was your first love, though? Music or movie? Music, music. Okay. I was like seven, writing songs, like write, rewriting rap songs that I heard on the radio. And I'll buy rap CDs. And I was mad young because my brother loved Tupac and uh, Boom Thugs and all these people. Nice. Yeah, so I would sit by the speakers. If you know Boom Thugs, they rap really fast. Ace the Rapper. Yeah. Michael so one. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, nice. So, so basically, I, I watched you on Heaven on My Mind. I saw the movie. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, I did. Do you know right. with your Casanova ness <laughs> in, the, in movie. the movie? In the movie. But I would, I would. <laughs> <laughs> just had to laugh. <laughs> he had to clarify. Yeah, he didn't have to just put it okay, in like that. Okay. But, but really, yeah. do you think, you know, because after that time, I have seen other movies where you've been given scenes and it looked like it was becoming stereotype because of you no. being TDH and all of that. What's TDH? Oh. Not even dark. So I can't even say it's all dark handsome. Oh, okay. okay TF, okay. I think it would be T. Tell her handsome is fine. <laughs> Tell her handsome, basically. Thank you, I appreciate it. But, 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 but really, uh, we have a clip of Heaven on My Mind, actually, and uh, let's actually watch it, and we'll come back. All mm. right, and that's the tiny clip we have of Heaven on My Mind, where Ray Imodi acted with Ini Edo and several other actors. Yeah. 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 Uche Jumbo, Adonia Was that your very first feature film? No, it was like, uh, like my fifth one in Hollywood. Um, so which was your first, and how did you get to Unfinished Business was my first. Okay. And people still talk to me about that movie, like, till today. Do you get me? That was the first one I did. I got to Lagos, I came to Lagos, and I auditioned for um, The Rock, uh, Mary Remy and Joko. And uh, Kabat was in the room as well. I don't know if you guys know him. He's the legendary guy in Hollywood. And they said, okay, you, you have some talent, so my producers might call you. And Remy Binola called me the week after, and that's how I got Unfinished Business. They told Remy, okay, there's this new guy, you should look at him for this new movie you just wrote, and you're going to direct your first director, your directorial debut. And she's like, no, I, won't, I have my own ideas. I, I, don't wanna, I don't even wanna see this, okay, let me see this guy. Oh, Jesus, I'm not gonna pick this guy. Then she, we met at the place in Lekki. Yeah, yeah, you were saying something. Oh, we met at the yeah. place in Lekki, and she, 
She told me I wasn't going to pick it, but when I saw you, I was like, what was I thinking? Oh, so, that's so sweet. That felt nice. That felt nice. So speaking of, when I saw you, I was wondering what was I thinking. Have you been able to handle attention in the in, since you got into the industry? Uh, I wouldn't even front. Like when some people, few people walk up to me and they're like, "Oh my god, I like you." Oh my god, it's like the most random at the most random times. That I'm still not used to people recognizing who I am. When you say people, what gender? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly women, but um, men come through as well. Like you, I respect what you're doing. I'm like, thank you. You know that happens. So when you, when, when, how do you handle female attention, though? I handle it. I've, um, I don't want to sound arrogant. I was going to say I've always had female attention, uh, even from when I was in secondary school, because I've always been. I don't know. There's. I don't know. I handle it. I handle it. Okay, so I'm tempted to ask. Do you have a girl? Uh, no, I don't have a girlfriend right now. Hey, um, hey. Uh, <laughs> why are you looking at me? No. I, I'm sweating. I, I, I didn't see that I'm coming. I'm in the hot seat. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's a really hot one. I didn't see that coming. So let's talk about, you know, your prospects, your plans. Yes. Um, musically, mm, movies-wise, movies. what are the expectations? Yeah, like I said, I'm working on an album. I'm working with great producers, DJ Kublan, Willis. Uh, Willis is the guy that produced for Falls, Talk, mm. Sweet Boy Association. Willis Gidem is my friend. I knew him before he blew, so I feel like... Is your blowing? Yeah, <laughs> like, yo, boy, I don't blow with you. Do you get me? Um, we, we're, we're, so we're expecting this album for the end of the year? Uh, it's going to be done this year. Okay. Right? I'm going to probably put it out end of this year or beginning of next year. All right. Yeah. Mm. Let's, let's also get to know your background. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that you schooled outside the country. Yeah. At what point did you move back to Nigeria? What did you study? Yeah. And where uh, are you based? I'm based in Lagos now. Um, but I spent 17 years in Enugu, uh, then I moved to Nottingham for uni, and I spent four years there, and then I moved to LA to learn how to act, spent okay. three years there, and then I came back to Abuja in 2015. Okay. Um, in LA, I worked with, uh, I learned under the New York Film Academy's teachers and Eric Morris. Eric Morris is the guy that taught Johnny Depp. You can Google that stuff. Uh, it was, it was, I, was, I was like, yo, you saw Johnny Depp. And Anthony Hopkins, they're friends. So I, I, got to, I got to see a couple of celebrities, and they gave me good advice. So LA is a, an experience that will stay with me forever. No, oh, OK, nice. So um, music-wise, yeah. which known artists do you plan to work with in the Fino, future? Fino, Fino, Fino. Ah, nice. I love Fino <laughs> so Why did I just say you were going to call him? <laughs> You know, I, I, I fell in love with you know, from ghost mode. That was yeah. Oh, my Jesus. Ghost mode. Yeah. In fact, I feel like dropping some Fino lines, but I'm going to respect oh, myself. You know? <laughs> Let's not do some for the culture. Tell us something that the fans, because you are now a celebrity, whether I like it or not, tell us something that the fans don't know about you. I'm shy. I'm oh. really shy. But the thing is, the way I get over it is I think of what I'm doing. Like when I'm about to shoot a scene, I think about just the scene. What's this character doing? What's he thinking? And then it gets my head off of, Oh my God! I need to tie my. It's too. This one is too long. <laughs> this one is too short. You know, it's. It. it I, I think about what I'm doing. If it, when I'm in the booth, I don't even get. There's no reason to be shy, because in movies, yeah, there are like a hundred people involved in the movie. There's the makeup artist. There's the AD. There's the DP. There's. But in, in music continuity, in music, it's just you, the producer. Do you get me? And the sound engineer. That's it. So you have more control. So I feel like that's probably why. Music is number one, just a little bit, just a little mm. bit. Just a little bit. So please, directors, producers, don't stop giving him roles. He said just a little go, bit. In so. a few seconds, <laughs> Before what we is ask your that greatest question? fear? No, Olive, you will not do this insecurity. to me. Olive, I'm going to ask that question. Which you question? Know that I don't understand. The whole crew in the control room is waiting for that question. Okay. Please, are you guys related? I know you said you are from Onecha. Yeah. So... Are you guys related? Well, some people who are Caucasian, hmm. after, Caucasian. A while, <laughs> after a while, trace their family history and find <laughs> that they're Nigerian when they check their DNA. So after the show, Ray Emody and Oliver Emody are probably going to trace their hmm. family history and find out if they're related. And of course, they will bring you this opportunity, this information. But until then, keep calm, take a chill pill, relax, and you'll be right back. <laughs> Before we let you go, what would you say your greatest fear and insecurity is? Mm. Uh, my greatest fear and insecurity. I don't know. 
You're not afraid of anything in this life. I'm afraid of a lot, but you know, greatest fear sounds grand, like something that's big. Okay, tell us one of your fears. One of my fears, snakes. Okay. Rats. Roaches. Um, disloyal friends. And insecurity? Insecurity. Uh, Did you used to have any insecurity growing up? A lot now, that's why I was shy. Um, uh, Don't worry, you can share it. We won't judge you, so that we can. Know, so your fans can know you are, you are not superhuman as well. I'm not superhuman now. I'm definitely not superhuman. Um, insecurity. I used to think that um, girls would think I was weird for some reason, because like I like different kind of stuff. I like different kind of music, like a mixture. I'm eclectic, so. When I'm with, like, at first, when I was, like, in secondary school, that was when I built up my confidence to go talk to women. So when I'll be in front of a girl, like, before I call a girl, I'll write down what I'll talk about <laughs> so I don't, so it doesn't get boring for her. Do you get me? Like, I, would, I was so nervous, like, yo, don't mess this up. You like this girl. There were, like, two girls I liked and three girls I liked in secondary school for the whole six years, and, like, I really liked them, and I only got to date one. Because I was bold enough to walk up to just one of them. But look at you now. The tables have turned. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all we can take today on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.